Hello BNB lovers, this is Blessing Inja, also known as Mrs. A. Jim. It actually does feel like ages since the last time I did an update on Jamie and Nikki. Well, if you are observant, then you would have noticed by now that Nikki has really toned down on the number of cryptic and seemingly shade-throwing kind of posts that she was regularly putting up. And her most recent videos are now more centered around her life. But some people are still of the opinion that she's still trying so hard to make Jamie feel some kind of way whenever he watches her YouTube videos. And of course, we cannot deny the fact that he still watches her video. You cannot just deny that fact. And I strongly believe that Nikki as well watches his videos. Okay, so here is a quick disclaimer before I jump into today's video. So the purpose of this video right here is not to gossip, but rather to analyze and to bring my subscribers up to date on some of what is going on or what has been going on in the lives of an ex-celeb YouTube couple, okay? So if you don't like the fact that I'm doing a video about Jamie and Nikki, then trust me, this video is not for you. So you might want to go check out some of my other videos that are centered around other topics that you might find interesting. All right. So if you guys have been watching my past updates, you'd remember one of my videos in which I reported that Nikki had started to delete most of Jamie's pictures from her Instagram. Well, that was three months ago. Right now, Nikki has so far deleted all of Jamie's pictures from her Instagram, except for these ones. Remarkably enough, Nikki did not delete a few of their wedding pictures for reasons best known to her. So let's not dig further than that, okay? So recently, Nikki kind of like trended a little bit on YouTube for the wrong reasons. Here is why. About a week and a half ago, Nikki posted a video on YouTube and in the video, Nikki can be seen changing into various outfits that some people consider rather indecent and provocative. To crown it all, she displayed her twerking skills in the video. Now, that video was received with so much disgust from most viewers who say that it is improper for a mother to behave in this manner and put it all out there in public. Now, Nikki felt the need to respond and kind of like explain herself as to why she did the video. Here is what she had to say. To those who are complaining, first of all, we are drunk. So yes, we got a little wild. Secondly, I didn't know it was a crime to have a fun ladies' night. Some are acting like this is a weekly occurrence. Not the case, love. It's called letting your hair down every once in a while. So I'm reading this and the first thing that comes to my mind is why do you even have to respond like why do you even have to explain your actions if you're living your life and you're comfortable with the decisions that you make and you're a grown woman why do you feel like you have to come clarify to anybody to try to justify your actions and yes i know that people could be really mean i mean i've had my share of negativity on my social media platforms and I know that it's not everybody who really has a thick skin to withstand certain comments that are thrown their way. But here is how I deal with negativity on my social media. I just ignore. I simply ignore. You know, I'm totally in support of people really being able, being free to really share their opinion and really add their view and say what they feel about something. What I'm not cool about is when you get to a point that you feel the need to be disrespectful to someone. So if Nikki makes a video and she decides to dance in her video, to twerk in her video, to dress in whichever way, manner or shape that she desires in her video, I don't understand why people cannot understand that it's her channel, it's her life. She's a grown woman and she has every right to make whichever kind of video that she pleases to make. Of course, you can think a certain way about what she puts out there. 
I'm not sitting here trying to play devil's advocate, but I'm trying to say it's okay for you to have an opinion about other people's actions, but it's not okay for you to come out and openly bash them. I mean, whatever happens to respecting people's choices? Like I said, you can always have your opinion that differ from other people's opinion, but there is always a better way to bring your opinion across. There is always a better way to give advice, to air your view without you having to make another person feel offended. Like you don't even have to throw insults at Nikki. The fact that you as a person, as a mother, would not make a video of yourself twerking and post online doesn't mean every other person does not have the right to do same. I mean, we cannot all be the same. We cannot all have the same nature. We are all raised in different ways. We come from different backgrounds, different cultures. We have different life experiences. So you should not always expect that everyone would act and behave the same way you would accept or the same way that is normal in your eyes. Because what is normal to you might not be another person's normalcy. That is why we always have to accept other people's choices. I'm always in support of live and let live. Live your life the way you please and do not impose it on any other person. Like the same way you have chosen to live your life in a certain way is the same way they have chosen to live their life in that way. Imagine people imposing their lifestyle on you. So if we want to voice our views, we want to share our thoughts on anything, let us always keep that keyword respect at the back of our minds. Anyway, Nikki has now disabled comments on that video, so nobody can comment anymore. Furthermore, she has deleted most, if not all, the negative comments that were dropped under that video. Okay, now let's rewind back to one of my past videos in which I revealed that Nikki had deleted most of Jamie's pictures from her Instagram. Well, guess what? Jamie has now retaliated by consequently deleting all of Nikki's pictures from his own Instagram account. So what you see here on the left is what Jamie's Instagram account used to look like. And here on the right is what his account currently looks like. In other words, those pictures have been deleted from his profile. Now, talking about Jamie, he uploaded a video on YouTube three weeks ago where he answered questions that were sent in by his viewers. In the video, he answers questions about his relationship status. I know this is one topic that so many people want to really hear about. So from the video, one thing is for sure. Jamie is not seeing anyone at the moment. He is neither dating nor even planning to date anytime soon. Jamie revealed that he does not intend to have more kids. Take a listen. What is my idea of a dream date? And then there was a lot of questions about dating as well. Uh, I am not focused on dating right now. That is literally the last thing that I'm thinking about. I, I'm not trying to date right now. All my energy is just going into uh, my life and uh, my kids and, and just providing for them. All right, here's a question that I get asked all the time. Jamie, would you like to have more kids in the future? I love both of my girls. I love the number two. I feel like the number two is perfect. I get to give them both like a great amount of quality time. And I feel like if I was to ever have another kid, I may not be able to give them the same amount of time that I enjoy giving them right now. So I don't see myself having any other kids in the future. I know this is quite a lot for many people to swallow. I mean, people who really love Jamie and Nikki, but I've also noticed recently that people have started to like really accept the fact that these two people have really gone their separate ways. Like, yes, it sounds like a very bitter pill to swallow, but you know what? It is what it is. We just all have to accept it no matter how hard, no matter how harsh, no matter how sad it may sound. It is what it is. And of course, we continue to wish them well and hope that they successfully co-parent their wonderful daughters. So you guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And for more updates on this topic and other trending topics, of course, 
I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do not forget to click on the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. Have a blessed weekend.